Shalom, Shalom. Hey, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah. Right? Hey, listen. Hear these words, brothers, for the day. And I, pr I pray that these words bless you for the day, man. Right? I pray that these words bless you for the day, man. Let's start off with Matthew chapter 18 and verse 7. Right? And listen, it says what? Woe unto the world because of offenses. In this wicked world, it's disgusting. It's evil, right? It's constantly tugging and pulling at the saints, man. Salakia. Let's get Proverbs chapter Proverbs chapter 12, right? And verse 26. See, I don't, if I don't pull these scriptures in between seeing these things, I'm going to forget it, man, right? Because the Lord, hey, brothers understand this. The Lord, uh, when you in your studies and you connect in scriptures, you know, through the spirit, you know, the Lord has you connect in spirit, uh, have you connect in scriptures with scriptures. And man, you just going to have a, 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 a dump of scriptures, in your mind, man. And you're just gonna just start throwing them up. So, hey, you got, you know, for me, the way I manage that is I kind of just, you know, I try to be spiritually efficient by uh, grabbing that scripture. As soon as I see something that reminds me that I connect the dots with another scripture. So, you know, Matthew chapter 18, verse 7, that first line, woe unto the world because of offenses, man. This is offensive, uh, disgusting, dry and thirsty land. This is offensive world that we live in, man. Everything is chaotic. Everything's out of order, right? So this is Proverbs 12, verse 26. It says what? The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, right? And we live by, we live, uh, by grace. Hey, we know the father's name. We know his son's name, right? We are uh, uh, telling our people to beautify the outside of the cup First starting with the inside of the cup Cleaning themselves up Loving their brother Receiving from the heart these words This doctrine that's given to them, man Right? Uh, the scripture is telling you what? For the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor You're good. you're more excellent than your neighbor Because you're walking in the perfect way, man You know why you fall off you know, even when you get off and you do something wrong, man, you got brothers and counselors to lift you back up. You got brothers to rebuke you sharply. You got brothers that's going to rebuke you with love. Hey, and brothers just always looking for the mercy of the most high God, right? So it says what? Those men, right? It says the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduces them. And those seductive ways come from this wicked world that we live in. Let's go back to Matthew chapter 18 and verse 7, right? I'm on the way to the plantation, so hey, bear with me. So it says what? For it it must needs be that offensive offenses come. But woe to that man by whom the offenses come. And we're constantly offended. By that man, day in and day out. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter. Salaki, let me make this turn. This is the book of Ezekiel, and I'm gonna go to verse. Let's see, 24 and verse 12, right? Nah, that's not it. That's a good one, but that's not it. 25 in verse 12 and it says what thus saith the Lord Yahweh because that Edom had dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and hath greatly offended and revenged himself upon them therefore thus saith the Lord Yahweh I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom and will cut off man and beast from it and I will make it desolate from Timon and they of the dead shall fall by the sword, right? So, brethren, hey, it's necessary that these demons offend us because guess what? The Lord is hey, he's he's setting it up, man. He's setting it up perfectly, man. He's setting up, setting you up for the perfect uh uh situation to play out, right? He's setting up the perfect situation to play out in your favor. In your favor This is Genesis chapter 12 This is what was said to our forefather Abraham And I will bless them that bless thee And curse them that curse of thee And I It says and, and in thee Shall all families of the earth be blessed 
in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. So the Lord's going to set up that house. But guess what? It's going to take pain to get it, man. You know, all these nations have to literally curse us for us to in order for us to break them into shivers it's a spiritual that's why it's a spiritual thing to love your brother man a so-called black man the man that had a, the skin tone of christ and the prophets right and the, and, the, and the uh 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 our forefathers and foremothers those brethren are not going to be easily loved man hey you're going to be born born with that spirit man even not even having that uh so-called potent uh complexion right so the scripture said i will bless them that bless thee and curse them that curse thee when they tell you that you a black person when they tell you when you say that you are israelite you surname yourself and subscribe as israel what they're gonna do they're gonna say nah they got a problem with that before they was your friend before they said hello before they showed you much love but after that hey you're gonna realize hey guess what trust not your enemy you're gonna see those things that's a great offense man you know you're gonna be offended uh 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 because of the lord's word man and you gotta you gotta fall in line Right? You gotta fall in line and say, hey, nah, the scripture tell me I, I can't trust my enemies. Right? So look, then the scripture says what? Uh uh, I will bless them that bless thee and curse them that curse thee. So what do you got what do you need to be doing, man? This is the last thing you need to do is this. This is Job chapter 9 and verse 24. It says what? Uh the earth is given to the hand of the wicked, cover the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Right. That's the wicked, man. That's the so-called white man. Hey, and you got to realize he is ruling over you. The Lord commanded Jacob to have to serve his enemy. That's the command that was put on us, man. That's the command that was put on us just because of the sins. Our sins are the sins of our forefathers. That's what the earth circum circumcision right now. Right. Because our forefathers were the circumcision. We, we were considered the uncircumcision, man. We don't know who we are. We were blind. And who was blind but the Lord's servant. So now what do we have to do? We have to deal with this madness, man. We literally have to deal with this madness. Right. This is the book of Lamentations, chapter one and verse 17. And it says what? Zion spreadeth forth her hands and there is none to comfort her. The Lord commanded this. There is none to comfort us, right? The Lord hath commanded. This is a commandment. Just like command the sun and the moon to rise on their, in their times. Guess what? The scripture also says what? The Lord hath commanded concerning Jacob that his adversary should be round about him. Jerusalem is a menstruous woman among them. Hey Amen. That's how you're going to be looked at, right? That's how you're going to be looked at. You're going to be hated by all men. People are going to hate your guts, man, for no reason. We have to realize that. So let's go back to Job chapter nine and I'm going to jump down to verse 27. It says what? Right. Because we we, we got to realize these offenses must come. Verse 27 says what? If I say I will forget my complaint and will leave off my heaviness and comfort myself, I am afraid of all my sorrows. I know that thou will not hold me innocent. You're not going to be innocent if you leave off your complaint. Right. If you walk through the flame like you Teflon. Right. Yeah. It kind of what do you what is that? What is that? What is that? What are you saying that you're doing? You're conforming to the world, man. Hey, don't think more highly of yourself than, than you ought to. You're thinking more highly of yourself than you ought to, man. You not you need not do that. Don't think more highly of yourself than you not than, than you not ought to. Hey, what does scripture tell you to do? You gotta be in pain. Mourn and weep. You have to mourn and weep in these last days. James chapter 4 and verse 9. And it says what? It says, be afflicted, mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourn. These white people had you laughing. These Edomites had you laughing. These Edomites had you thinking that it's all a game. And hey, hey, they love me. Hey, they love me. I got white friends, so on and so forth. Hey, put away your laughter, right? Be t uh, he says, let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Don't you know the Lord going to destroy this place? Right? Don't you know that when you have, uh, it says, humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up. Speak not evil one to another, brethren. Hey, the so-called white man. Hey, you say, what about the good ones? Hey, you ain't had nothing good to say about your own brother, man. You don't have nothing good to say about your brother that's right there telling you and letting you know, pulling you by your coattail that you should never trust your enemies and let you know who your enemies are. Even though it's obvious. You see, but these things are spiritually discerned, right? Before they happen, the Lord is revealing these things to us. So you don't say, hey, my idol showed me this, Right? My idol showed me this. And you got some brothers that's close. Right? They they really close to to uh 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 you know so called uh figuring out that the so called white man is the devil, but they still got all these other doctrines, man. 
They got they don't follow the law, statutes, commandments of the most high God, so on and so forth, man. And that's guys that's in the nation of Islam, so on and so forth. And we love our people, we love our brothers, and you but you opposing yourself, right? You opposing yourself, man. So think not more highly than yourself than you ought to, man. Don't put away your complaint. Pray always, man. You should be praying without ceasing, man. These are the reasons why. That's how you humble yourself in the sight of the Most High God. So don't leave off your complaint. Mourn and weep. Pray always to the Most High, right? That's what you should be doing. Not sitting here trying to make friends, right? And kind of figuring it out on your own, right? And that's really, you trying to, you, like I say, you're conforming to the world at that point. So it says what? Uh, First Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 16. It says what? Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing, man. Rejoice about this word. Rejoice when uh, men hate you. You being persecuted for righteousness sake. When you see that the most high God uh, has given you comfort through his word. Concerning these things that he commanded over us because, hey, that's who identify. That's how you identify where, you know, the Chinese man with his eyes and the shit that they eat. Right. They know that they China for us. Our signs is these curses, man, as that's pursuant to Deuteronomy chapter 28. And that's for the blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, Latinos. Right. Uh, uh, who had his spirit on them. Right. And who knows that their people are afflicted in these last days. Right. It says in John chapter 17, verse 14. Uh, uh, it says what verse 17 it says sanctify them through through thy truth thy word is truth man right right so so what and it also said verse 16 they are not of the world even as i am not of the world that's why we don't agree with this place that's what brings people to uh hear this word that's how i end up hearing this word is because i i don't agree with it you know i hated these offense i hated constantly being offended in this world man so that's what you got. You got to you got to feel the fire on these things, man. So uh, mourn and weep. Hey, don't put away your complaint. Pray without ceasing, man. Pray without ceasing. That's how you're going to get this understand. That's how you're going to remain in this thing. The words of the most high God is not going to get uh, 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 boring to you. Right. You're not going to be like, ah, I heard it all. Yeah, brother, I heard that scripture before. Yeah, you know, you brought that. You got to live by this, man. It says, now we, ex verse 14, first, second, first Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 14. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men, right? See that thou, uh, uh, see that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever, it says, but ever follow that which is good both among yourselves and to all men rejoice evermore pray without ceasing and everything give thanks for this is the will of yahweh in in hamashiach yahweh shah concerning you right quench not the spirit man hey you gotta feel that pain so that your spirit can be emboldened man you gotta be bold man just like it like just like peter uh, uh just like peter right you gotta be bold man you know, just for kicks, you know, uh, Acts chapter four and verse 13, it says what now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Yahweh Shah. So to be offended like that, people to, uh, uh, you know, look down on you like that. Hey, man, that's a that's a beautiful thing, man. That's a beautiful thing for them that hate you. Don't quench that spirit. Hey, take it to the most high God. Pray without ceasing. Cry unto the Lord. Mourn. Put your happiness away. Sometimes the Lord lets you see those, those, those uh uh bitter things just so you can just to get you back in the spirit, man. So 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 to, to hell with this place, man. And we're gonna end it off with this promise and this testimony, right? We're going to end it off with this testimony so I can get in here. Hey, you know, did the scriptures say, hey, hey, don't be over righteous, you know, because I'm kind of late right now. I can't be late. That's another. That's an offense, man. You know, the enemy. Right. These these uh, uh servants are telling me, hey, yeah, you better be right here. We're going to go ahead and fire you. That's just the way it is. And guess what? I'm going to take that to my closet and pray to the most high about that. 
I'm a pray. That's another reason for the Lord to deliver me. This is Zephaniah chapter three, verse 18. Remember this. It says what? Let's start at 17. It says the Lord thy God is uh, in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. I will gather them that are sorrowful for the solemn assembly who are of thee to whom the reproach of it was a burden. Behold, at that time, I will undo all that afflict thee. Everything that's happening to you, everything that you feel it. The Lord knows every hair on your head, man. If you endure to the end, hey, being tried in this furnace of affliction, you endure to the end. Guess what? This is who the Lord is talking to you, man. Lord is talking to you. Anybody first hearing these words of, of, of the Most High God and his exaltation for the Most High God, hey, you have an opportunity for these words to be written unto you. It says, behold, at that time, I will undo that that afflict thee and I will save her that halted and gather her that was driven out. That's talking about Israel. We halted. We don't have a nation. Right. It says in Psalms chapter 83 that what uh, the, all the nations said, let us cut them off from being a nation. Micah chapter four, verse 11 says many nations are gathered against thee. Right. Everybody hates you. Everybody looks down on you. Everybody's ready to accuse you, not even knowing you, even your own people, right? It says, I will save her that halted and gather her that was driven out, and I will gather uh, gather them, uh, I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. See that? He gonna give us fame where we've been put to shame. And with that, I want to give all praise going on to the Most High God, Yahweh. Hey, Shalom, Israel.